In this video, I'm going to be talking about common mistakes when typing. The number one problem for typers that are typing incorrectly is rushing, and I can't stress this enough. If you look at this guy with this suit, he's just in a hurry, he wants to rush through everything. Um, that may work in some subjects, like for example, if you need to get something done fast in math, or if you need to get something done fast in other, other things. But 99% of the time in typing, it's only going to mess you up. You're actually going to type better if you take your time. So if you go too fast, then what's going to happen is that you're not going to think about your form. And you need to have your mind thinking about all of the different things you should be doing correctly. Your posture, your form, making sure your hands are in the right places. It takes a lot of thought to think which finger goes where, especially other than just home row. Like, for example, do you press the pointer finger with the Y or do you, do you, you know, it's like when you're thinking about each individual lever, letter, especially in the beginning, it can take a lot of time. So if you're rushing, although it might, you might think that you're going faster, in the long term, you're only hurting yourself. Number two is looking down. Looking down on the keyboard, looking down at the keyboard. Every single time you do it, it's going to take you, you're going to go a millisecond slower. So although you might think, oh, it's not taking that much time, but if you're looking down 15, 20 times during one lesson, that's maybe, you know, a couple seconds that you could have typed faster, but you spent that time looking down. So you need to really have your fingers memorize where the keys are so that you don't have to look down. Another thing is moving multiple fingers to reach a key. And if you look at this GIF, this guy's just going crazy. But what I mean is, see, here I'm on home row, and let's say I need to press the 7. So if I, if I went all the way up here and then I press the 7 with my middle finger, it's going to take me a long time to get back to home row. Or if I want to press the B, but I move all my fingers and I just press the B like this, it's going to take me a lot of time to get back. So the key is, not moving multiple fingers, moving one finger. So maybe I want to press the N with the, and that's for me that's a tough stretch. So and if you're if you're right-handed, then your left hand is going to be hard. So you're going to have a hard time stretching a certain. And notice sometimes you have to move one other hand finger, but don't try not to move more than two fingers at once. So you want to just move one finger at a time, just like this. The next one, and I see this problem come up again and again and again, is people use either their, they use other fingers to delete things. So you have to delete all the time on the keyboard. It's one of the most recurring buttons that you have to press. So looking at the keyboard, what I mean by this is if you went all the way and you pressed your pointer finger to the delete button, then it takes forever to get back. Like, look how long that takes to go from there to there. That's why the fastest way is with your pinky. But if you can't reach with your pinky, at least go your ring finger. So at least go your ring finger if you can't your pinky. Then at least it doesn't go as as slow. But see, the pointer finger, I just see people doing the pointer finger, it takes forever to get back. You can save so much time even just doing a ring finger. And do, even if you do a whole hand move, and then lastly, I say this because this is the number one problem that people mess up with typing, is they think they need to go fast. And um, they think going fast will get them typer, will, will get them better and will get them faster. That's not the case. I mean, even when a student reaches eighth grade, they still need to practice. They're still, they barely, I mean, they still don't have the keys memorized. It's still about taking the time to think about each key and um, it might seem like it's slower but in the long term if you really want to type fast it's the smartest thing to do